Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share a quick video on how I contour my nose. So the other day on Instagram, I shared a picture of myself from like 10 years ago. I had dark hair and my nose looked so much bigger. You guys all asked me if I got a nose job. I have not, it is just contouring. I just learned how to contour my nose to make it a little bit skinnier, a little bit cuter, and a little bit more turned up. So today I'm gonna share a few of the techniques that I've learned and how I contour my nose. So let's get to it. Just a quick disclaimer before we jump into this, I am not a professional, I am not a makeup artist by any means. This is just what works for me. I realize everyone has a different nose shape, um, so you'll just have to play around with it and see what works best for you. Um, and I do wanna mention, I did just film a hair tutorial on this, so I will link it here for you guys because I'm sure I'll get some questions on it, but let's get to this. So I already went in and did my full face of makeup. I have a everyday makeup tutorial. I will link it up here for you guys. I filmed that one about a year ago. So if you guys wanna see a updated look on everything that I'm using right now, just leave a comment down below and subscribe and I can film that next for you guys. So I'm just gonna go in with a contour powder. This one is the NARS Casino. Um, this one is a few shades darker than my face. This is what I use to contour my cheekbones, my forehead. So I'm just gonna go in with a Sigma brush. This one is the E55 flat top brush. So I'm just gonna pick up some of this contouring powder. And I'm gonna start on the tip of my nose. So for me, I want to slim down this area here. And I also want my nose to look a little bit shorter. I do have like a bulbous tip nose. So it's like a little bit bigger on the tip. So I want it to be a little bit more turned up and cuter. So I'm gonna start by putting some of that powder on the tip of my nose and I'm gonna follow the natural shape of like my nostrils. So you don't wanna do a straight line across. I'm just gonna take that brush and kind of start shading the tip of my nose. And basically what this is doing is creating a shadow. It's gonna create an illusion that your nose is shorter. So we're going to highlight the tip and the bridge of the nose and then darken um, this bottom edge and darken the sides. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but I did create like a swooping motion. That way it just looks more natural. If you go straight across, it can kind of just create a weird line across your nose. So just follow the natural shape and leave like a little dip here in the front. But like I said, everyone's nose is a little bit different, so you might have to tweak the shaping of yours to get the look that you want. So then I'm gonna go down the sides of my nose. I'm gonna turn my brush flat and I kind of tilt my head to the side. That way the brush just kind of rests on my nose. Um, that way it's just a little bit easier to create a straight line. If you try drawing it like this, it'll probably be a little bit squiggly. At least it is for me because I can't draw a straight line. So I'm gonna tilt my head and just rest the brush here and then just go straight down. And I'm just lightly pressing. And I'm kind of going from like right here down to like the tip of my nose. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so as you can see, I just have lines down the center of my nose. I do start off a little dark um, and then we're gonna buff this out and lighten it up quite a bit. So now I'm gonna change brushes. I'm gonna be using one that's like a little bit skinnier. This one is the Sigma. E20. This is a, a, another flat top brush. Um, this one is just a little bit more dense and a little bit smaller. So with this one, I'm going to create a small line across the top of my nose and I'm going to do a small swooping motion. So this is going to create the illusion that my nose is turned up. So if I were to press my nose upward, I kind of naturally have like a little crease there. So I'm just creating an illusion that my nose is turned up like that. So once you have all of your lines drawn on, we are gonna go in and blend it out. So I'm gonna be using, this is the um, Sigma E39 Buff and Blend Brush. It's just a kind of dense, fluffy brush just to kind of blend everything out. So I'm gonna start with the top here and I'm just going to be following those lines straight up and down. We don't wanna blend it to the sides because we don't wanna drag it down. We wanna keep it in place, just soften it up just a little bit. Okay, then when it comes to the tip here, we are going to follow that line and go across. Again, we don't wanna drag it up or down. We just wanna kind of soften it up right where it sits. Okay, 
Okay, same thing with the tip. For here, we're just going to kind of drag it downward. We just don't want that darkness to go up any further on the tip of our nose. Okay, so I feel like I can already see my nose looking slimmer and a little bit more turned up. But what's really gonna make that contour pop is adding some setting powder. So this one is the Pretty Vulgar. This is a matte setting powder. So I'm just gonna pick up some of that with a um, beauty sponge. This one is, I think this one is the Eco Tools, and it's so much cheaper than the Beauty Blender. And I love that it has this flat tip. When you're setting the contour on your nose, you're gonna be drawing straight lines. And same thing with my cheekbones, I draw a straight line. So this beauty sponge is just perfect for that. Okay, so I'm just gonna be pressing that right underneath that line that I created. This is gonna make the contour pop so much more and make your nose look even slimmer. Then I'm also gonna add a little bit of that powder underneath my nose just to make sure there's not any darkness. And again, this will just kind of bring up the nose um, and really define that shadow that we created on the tip. So I'm gonna let that sit on there for just a few seconds and let that powder just kind of soak in, kind of bake for a little bit. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush. This one is just and I, the iconic London fluffy brush. I just use it for all of my powders and just swoosh that away. So then I'm just gonna go in with a highlighter. This one is the Becca Royal Glow. I would open it and show you, but it's completely broken. <laughs> So I'm just gonna be using, this one is the Sigma E30. This one is just a small pencil brush and I like to use this one to highlight the tip of my nose and like the inner corners of my eyes and stuff. So I'm just gonna go in with that and highlight just underneath that line that we created. So I'm just gonna draw like a little dot there and then I'm also gonna go down the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna add just a little bit more right there to make that pop. And then I'm just gonna use that same fluffy brush and just kind of blend it out and soften it up just a little bit. Okay, so I really feel like that highlighter just makes the nose look a little bit more swooped up. It kind of makes it look like the sun is reflecting off of it, which I think is super cute. So then I'm gonna go in with a setting spray and just kind of set in all of those powders. This one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I just feel like it kind of finishes off the look. So here is a finished look. I definitely feel like my nose looks a little bit slimmer, a little bit more turned up. Like I said, you will have to tweak a few of the things to kind of fit your nose and the look that you are going for. But I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.